Hey guys, this is Ashton and welcome back to Without Code. Today we're rolling out our new Vimeo Video Gallery widget. It's a great new widget that allows you to display all of your Vimeo videos in one place using a simple and streamlined layout, allowing your video thumbnails to maintain the gallery focus. Now your video playback takes place in a light box if we give one of these a click here in our live demo. And it also offers sharing, likes, full screen capabilities, and many other features. Let's switch over to Architect. We've got our method theme here ready to modify, and I'm going to dive into the widget library. Scroll down to our Vimeo video gallery and drag it out onto a new row on our page. Perfect. And we can already see a placeholder gallery functioning here in the editor. Now, as always, feel free to size the gallery however you wish. If you want this to function as a full width gallery, you'll just need to click on the row itself to customize the row settings and then set it to be a full bleed row with this toggle switch. Let's pop open the settings panel. First option here is our unique ID. As always, you can set this to be anything you want. You just need to make sure it's unique to any additional instances of this widget on your page. Next is Vimeo user. Now this is just the name that your Vimeo account is under. Let's jump over to Vimeo.com. And I'm gonna scroll down to this section titled Discover Today's Best Videos. And for the sake of example, we can pick any one of these. I'll just click this one here, which takes me to the video page. And you can do this exact same thing with your own videos if you're trying to locate your own username. And from here, we can click on the username itself underneath the video title. And that takes us to a page where we can see the exact username displayed here in the URL. So we can either type this in manually or simply select it and copy it and paste it into our settings panel for the widget. Perfect. And just like that, we can already see the preview update in Architect with a new gallery of videos, which is great. Now, depending on the age of your account, the username may be something custom like we see here, or it might be the word user followed by a string of numbers, but either way, you can locate it with the method that we just did. Next option here is number of videos, which of course allows you to determine how dense you want your gallery to appear on the page. And then the next two options are your thumbnail width and height. Now keep in mind that these settings are absolute, meaning that the thumbnails will display at the exact settings that you enter here. So it's a good idea to match the height and width to the aspect ratio of your actual thumbnails in Vimeo, otherwise the images may appear distorted. As of now, we have a nice default wide aspect ratio with the dimensions of 400 wide by 240 tall, which is displaying our wide thumbnails properly. But if I were to change the aspect ratio to square by lowering the width to 240 to match the height, we can see all the thumbnails are condensed now and distorted down accordingly. So just keep that in mind when determining these settings. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to 400 width. And lastly, of course, your padding between videos in the gallery, adjustable here by pixels. Simply increase this to add spacing between each video thumbnail. Really quick, let's jump into our design settings in the panel here. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but they give you lots of control over the appearance of the gallery. The overlay color here comes into play when your mouse hovers over a thumbnail, and you can change the intensity or opacity here from 0 to 1.0. If I hover now, we can see that it's pretty dark, but if we wanted something less intense, I could lower this to, say, 0.5. And once the gallery does a quick refresh, we can hover now and see a more transparent overlay. Next option is icon color, which applies to the eyeball icon that appears during hover, and you can adjust the icon size here as well. Let's raise this up to 40 pixels. And then finally, we have all the settings available for the video title that appears on the top of the hover overlay. Everything from font, size, color, and format and alignment settings. So that's our Vimeo video gallery widget. Thanks again, as always, for watching, and don't forget to hit us up and support if any snags pop up. Take care.